All right, welcome back. In this session, I'm gonna show you how to use the rectangle feature. Now, the three most important features in SolidWorks, especially the beginners, you'll be using the most are the line, rectangle, and the circle. Now, you'll definitely be using the other features as well, but these are the top most used ones in SolidWorks. And I'll be teaching you how to use those separately in just a feature-based tutorial uh, in our first section. Later on, when we start the exercises, I will be teaching you how to use the rest of those as well. So let's go ahead and get started. If you go over here under rectangle, the first option you will see is corner rectangle. There's a little box on the right side of that. If you left click on it, you're gonna see five options. Corner rectangle, center rectangle, three point corner rectangle, three point center rectangle, and parallelogram. Okay, so to get started, let's go ahead and click on corner rectangle. Now, if you click on that without clicking on uh, create a sketch from plane, you're going to get an option saying, hey, you need to pick a plane so I can draw these on. So let's go ahead and click on the front plane. Okay, once we do so, you'll also have the option to switch to any of those five options that I showed you over here. Okay, for the first one, we're going to go to corner rectangle. What corner rectangle is, is you start out from one end and then end it on another. That's what those little two points. So always look at these diagrams. They will help you identify which what each of those does. Okay, the next one is a center rectangle. You start with a point at the center and it expands to a corner and it will leave center lines in the middle. So some of these features will leave center lines in the middle of them. Okay, uh, this one is a three point rectangle. You're basically uh, selecting three points of uh, the three corners of the rectangle and that's how you draw it. The third one is that you start out with a center you'll go in a, to the midpoint of one of the uh, ends and then to a corner. Okay, so that's the third one. And then the parallelogram, you go from one point to the next. And then the third one is creating the parallelogram to the third corner. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to click on the view over here and click on normal too so I can see my front plane a little bit better. And let's create the first rectangle. So I'm going to click on my origin. And then as you can see, as you start expanding, you're going to see an X and Y. X means you're going to the right and left. So if you don't know which X is, if you come over here to the bottom right here, you're going to see an X over here in red and a Y on top. Okay, so that's what X is. If you go from one direction to the next, it's not going to change to, from a plus to a minus or anything like this. Uh, SolidWorks will keep them looking on the right side of your mouse like that. But if you do go down here, you will see that they do change to a negative in, over here. But while you're uh, creating the box uh, expanding and retracting the box, it will SolidWorks will keep them in a positive uh, direction because there's no such thing as negative length when you're creating anything, it's gonna stay positive. But here, SolidWorks will just let you know that you're at the negative side of the origin. That's, that's all that is, that's all this negative uh, indicates. Okay, so say I want a, say, a four inch in X and two inch in Y. Well, I'm just gonna be basically estimated to be right here and then left click on it. As you can see, it creates those four little green boxes, which mean uh, this is the two vertical lines and two horizontal lines, uh, two vertical lines and two horizontal lines. And then this one just means that it's coincident, coincidental to the origin. Okay. Now, if I want to uh, basically make sure that those lines are all um, parallel to each other and the exact length, I'm going to have to actually click on OK. And then what I'll do is either click on this line right here and then you can change it. You can actually change it if you want it uh, parallel to anything. You're not gonna be able to change anything from here because when you click on this, this is gonna be all one aspect. So what you would do is click on OK and then go to Smart Dimension and then click on any of these lines. So if click on this line right here and then let go, then you'll get, it, get this modify box. Now I'm gonna go through Smart Dimensioning a little bit later, but for example, in this aspect, uh, you will see this appear and an option over here to change this. So you can either change it by going up and down. This is going to be, it's going to change both sides because these two lines are parallel and these are all one feature, one sketch. You sketch those using all one sketch. So whenever you change one, it's going to affect the rest. Okay, so if you change this, so you can either type in 4.0 and it will change it to 4 inches. Uh, you can double click it and then change it with this little bar right here. So if you left click, hold the left click and then move it back and forth. It will move in 0.1 increments. Okay. You can click OK to accept this or X to exit it without accepting it. It would go back to four inches. Or if you have this selected, you can go to the left side over here and also change this on by going up and down right here. You can also have the option to reverse direction, which will flip your square. 
but let's go back and keep it this way and I'll, I'll teach you more about this a little bit later so if I want to do this also to the left side over here I'm gonna type in 2.0 and just click enter okay and it will change it to two inches okay so I'm gonna click on okay and I'm gonna go ahead and click on X over here to exit without saving my sketch okay I'm gonna go back to my front plane and then click on sketch again and let's go ahead and select a center rectangle I want to show you what a center rectangle looks like so a center rectangle if I click on my origin that's one point and you're gonna see that that was my first and center point in the next one I can snap in anywhere I want and it's going to be my second point and there you go that's my second way of creating a rectangle now I'm gonna press escape I'm gonna highlight my rectangle and then by left clicking on one end over here and then left clicking on the other end over here and then hit delete okay so I'm gonna go back over here and go to three point corner rectangle and again this is gonna be three corners so it's gonna select one corner two corner three corners so let's go ahead and do that one corner two corner and there you go it gives you that third corner and you can snap onto that and it will show you that this sign right here this means that you're parallel I'm gonna press escape so you can go and read what that says if you go over one of those green boxes it will show both lines that are parallel to each other okay and also over here you will see that those two lines are per perpendicular to each other so that's what the perpendicular symbol means so I'm gonna left click again and highlight everything I'm gonna hold my left click and then let go over here delete let's go to the fourth box which is gonna be three point center rectangle so the first point is gonna be your center click on that second point is gonna be one of your uh, the middle of one of your edges and the third point is going to be your corner and there's your third way to create a box okay I'm gonna press on escape to exit out of my features I'm gonna select this box and delete it and then the last way you can create a, a rectangle or it's really a parallelogram is selecting three corners as well so first corner second corner and you can see that third corner is you don't you definitely don't want it to be uh, straight up otherwise you'd be creating a rectangle so this is going to be a parallelogram so example I can let go over here and there you go so if I press escape you're going to notice that these two lines are parallel and these two lines are parallel and that's what a parallelogram is okay so I'm going to click on X over here to not save anything and then click on discard changes and exit so there you go you just learned how to use the rectangle feature now the last thing that you've used is that last option so if you actually go over here and click on this it's going to uh, start you using that last option that you uh, selected which is a parallelogram so make sure when you're done or the last option is always the cor uh, corner option corner rectangle options otherwise it's going to start you uh, as a parallelogram uh, at all times so the last feature that you always use will be the the main feature to use next next time so if you're using the same feature always all the time uh, you know all you have to do is come over here and click on it uh, otherwise whatever last feature you used over here is going to be the main feature that will be saved uh, for you over here to use so just just a heads up and remember that in case you come over here and you want to create a corner rectangle after you created a parallelogram you have to actually go back over here and select corner rectangle and there you go this concludes uh, this session of uh, how to use the corner rectangle feature